Good evening, India. This is Tom from Evergrey. And this is Jonas. You're listening to Metalholic Magazine. Hey, Tom, how are you doing, brother? We're doing good. It's me and Jonas here. Oh, so we have two amazing members here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how has been your journey? I mean, you traveled from Sweden to States, and I think today you have a listening party. So how's it going till now? Uh, good. We're kind of jet lagged, but it's, it's all good. Traveling for like 11 hours yesterday, and uh, yeah. I mean, we were able to stay awake and get a night's sleep. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're we're also going on these happy fumes because everybody's yeah. so happy about the album. So it's uh, it's easy for us to do the hard stuff now. <laughs> so wonderful. it's uh, yeah, we're just just booming. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun today with the listening party. Absolutely, Looking forward to it. What is it? Two hours, and then it's yeah, boom. Amazing. So then you guys are heading to Prague Power and, and you're going to meet your friends over there and also some interviews as well. So you have a jam-packed weekend ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be fun. That's amazing. Really now, excited. first of all, uh, let me get to your new album, which, I mean, it, words are very short to explain the masterpiece you guys have come up with. I mean, looking at how you guys have faced your, oh, thank you. you know, the the stuff you've faced from past few years, it it feels like this is the re-energized version of Evergrey. Yeah, good, good, good words, man. Yeah, we are, we agree. Thank you. Yeah, spot on. <laughs> it's been, a, it's it's been, been a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah. a lot of a lot of work. Yeah, but but at the same time. Very easy. Yeah, very easy. <laughs> they, I mean, was it this... very easy for you guys to come up with such material? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. Uh... It, it just. Uh, it just went very. Everything felt so natural. Uh huh. Uh, and, uh, everything was really. Uh, I think we understand each other so good, and uh, you, you know, with the with the writing of the new album, we we really. Um, we use, we try to use as much you know positive energy as we we could and really take care of the 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 good vibes uh -huh. that are going on you know and also I mean there was also this sense of eagerness to to prove to each other that we could do this and yeah not so much for the world we didn't give a fuck about the world actually we, you know we we just wanted to make a an album for ourselves and and uh, and now when we have accomplished something that we are extremely happy and proud about. It's a pleasure to deliver it to, to the world because no matter what you guys say, we, we are at least happy where we are. So Absolutely. That's really great. Now, this album, if I'm not wrong, reflects uh, your personal journey somehow. I mean, from the lyrical approach to the dark atmosphere, Ever Grey is known for. So when it comes, is it a concept album? If yes, uh, could you just shed some light on it? Yeah, I mean, it's about, I, I struggled with an exhaustion depression uh, that started pretty much like maybe four, four years ago and it had its uh, outburst, if you will, on, on the release day of, of the last album. Right. Uh, so I've been struggling with that and that was also when I found out that I was sort of, uh, I, I had an identity that I wasn't uh, at all pleased with, uh, which was weird because I am a musician and, and this is my passion and I and I all of a sudden wanted to turn my back on it and uh, and uh, and I sort of did for a good while just I mean I, we toured and uh, played shows together of course with the with the, the former members and the, for that album for, for quite some time but um, at the same time I was also traveling inwards and having these all these inner revolutions going on inside and uh, where I had to sort of in the end just uh, disregard a lot of the old me and, and mm -hmm. try to find a new one. I am not saying that I have found a new one, but I'm I'm on a, I'm on a, I at least see the light in the tunnel now maybe, but I'm still in the beginning of the tunnel. So. Oh, that's amazing. Now, you have to tell me this. I mean, 
the way the songs have been flowing from the first till the end, it's 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 more like a journey. So how I mean, I still can't figure out a band who is such an amazing, you know, highly skillful band writes each song, keeps all the arrangements, all the structures in mind. Emotions, I mean, you guys connect and a listener emotionally. So when music connects to a fan emotionally, that's where an impact, you know, that, that's what matters for a musician. First of all, we, we, we write for our, ourselves uh, yeah. because that's what we love, that's what we do. Uh, but, but it's super important to uh, to think of the, the fans as well, since they're the one listening and going to the concert. Right. And, you know, they're the ones who make us go around the world and play for, you know, thousands of people. Right. Uh, so, it, I mean, it, it, it's kind of important to have that in mind as well. Uh, but it's just, it's kind of hard to describe. It, it, just we just write stuff mm -hmm. and i think, and I <laughs> and think yeah. yeah that's just it i think i think when you just write stuff without any preconceived ideas of what you want to do and it, then you are being honest and also we're not writing about dungeons and dragons and and i think that also makes a connection for people that are, that is much easier to do than trying to imagine yourself running around with a sword i'm not right. saying that that's a bad thing i'm saying that that's not what evergrey is about yeah but also, like you said, connecting with the fans, the title in itself, uh, in itself, hymns for the broken, is, is the outside world's name for us. We are the broken, but we, I mean, I mean, it's a metaphor for the people being inside, right, inside the circle of trust. Even if it's the Evergrey fans or metal fans or pe people just sharing the same thoughts or experiences in life, which uh, hardship of, or, or whatever, uh, we just speak the same language in a way, and and I think. Uh, we have been quite successful at pinpointing that fact right here. So that's wonderful. Now I came across a thought where you mentioned that, you know, about your about the members when they joined back. I mean, what can we say we missed each other? These were the words which you said. So when when a family gets back together and that spark and that chemistry which is noticed in a studio, a magic happens. There's always that element of surprise which comes into the picture. So when it comes to you know this album, when you guys started writing, was it like, I mean, you had pre-decided what sort of a direction you're going to take or was it like, it's going to be natural for us, whatever material we're going to write is, is going to be natural or is it like, okay, let's do it this way or that way. I mean, what sort of an approach did you guys took? Since Jonas wrote uh, a lot of the foundations for a lot of the songs, he should he should start to answer this. <laughs> I uh, yeah, it, it's a combination of just writing. You don't mm -hmm. uh, again. I, I, I one part of me didn't just it didn't think of anything. Just uh, um, wrote music, and the other part of me uh, just. Um, wanted to really focus um, on our the Evergrey's strengths, like dynamics and melodies, harmonies, um, and uh, not, you know, uh, uh, also don't, you know, focus so much on how long a song is, you know, um, some, some bands, you know, just have to, all the songs have to be within like four minutes and uh, if... Or the other way around, within ten minutes. Yeah, some bands are like that too. Yeah, so uh, it's, you know, it's important not to cut anything out or, uh, yeah. you know, just for the sake of it. Just let everything, uh, let the, yeah, let everything flow and let the song, you know, just roll. When it's done, then it's done. You know, just don't force it down to the four minutes. Right, after, right. After. I, I, but, I understand. Uh, when Jonas entered the band again, entered the band, it's like an opening door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, but when, when we had, after a serious discussion with all of us, when we decided we, we would do this, Jonas came to me actually on my birthday and he played, and he had 27 song ideas. 
So wow. I figured he must have been writing for a good while, and that also sh that also felt for me like okay, it's important for him to yeah. be back in every way. So yeah. and then we had 10, 12, 13 ideas, and so we ha I would say that we could write the start writing another album tomorrow if we would have to. But uh, let's hope that this album takes us a few laps. Yeah. <laughs> laps around the world for yeah. <laughs> because we need to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, guys. That's amazing. Now, I don't know whether you guys are aware of this point or not, but Evergrey, for me personally, is one of the very few bands in heavy metal that that relates to so many human levels. I mean, the way you guys translate those emotions exactly. I mean, I don't know whether you guys ever thought about it, but it's a, it's very rare we come across a band that, that you know, uh, relates to, you know, daily life of how we human beings are. <laughs> Good. Yeah. It's Good. Uh, we hope Thanks. it will stand the test of time too, because we have been doing the same since end of May, and uh, and we're still listening to it the yeah. other day, and that and that honestly have never happened ever yeah. before. I mean, normally you're kind yeah. of sick of an album when you're clean, when it, when it's master and done, you just like oh, fuck take it away. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just don't talk about it. You just uh, <laughs> the rest. <laughs> But uh, that's not the case with this album. I I listen to it like every day as well. It's just um, yeah, we're super proud of this album, and it's uh, turned out even better than than I could ever imagine. So uh, cool. it yeah. feels great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, awesome. Now, what about the guitar lines? I mean, I I like the way how. How the guitar sounds perfectly over the incredible atmospheric keyboard work of you know Ricard Zander. So you know, is it easy to call it as a perfect blend of power and punch? Well, I, the, the reason is that Jonas wrote a lot of the guitar lines. So, so thank you. I will stop, stop now. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh come on, yeah. come on, Tom. You know, you guys gotta be together. <laughs> Yeah, um, for the yeah the, the, the parts that I wrote, since I I can't play guitar um, as good as these guys. Almost. Thank God. That would be that would be kind of weird <laughs> for us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I uh, but I try to you know focus on the strength that uh, that we have you know dynamics and uh, try to find a. Uh, some kind of balance between the, the guitars and and keyboards, uh, you know, just to uh, not just for filling filling up the sound, you know, right? Uh, but to make to to make it so that everything has a purpose, place for a purpose. True. Yeah, that's where I try it. At least. <laughs> and that's and that's a, that's a, I mean that's so true. I think I, I, I said to a former drummer that because he was very young and I, I tried to teach him the importance of every every hit, of every note, you know, that there are no unimportant notes or hits in, in a band. And if you can capture that while writing, then you, I think you're on a good way of understanding how the dynamics of music should be. Uh, but it, 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 it shouldn't, of course, be forced. It should be coming naturally. Yeah. So, so, but I mean, then, of course, Jonas plays guitar on the album. Uh, I play guitar on the album. Johan. Johan plays guitar on the album. Henrik awesome. plays guitar on the album. <laughs> so we're four guitar players on this album. Yeah. So it's, uh, I think also that adds a coolness to it. Yeah. And everybody has been like this. Yeah. Great. Right? If, 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 you, if you, you can play it better than me, just play it, you know, because there's no pride in, in for us, it's not about that. Uh, not, no, no, no. It's not. It's not like we don't, we don't, I mean, Henry loves his guitar solos, and he did a fantastic job. He, he recorded all the guitar solos in two hours, two hours, all, all of his solos. And it's like I was standing in fucking two days, you know. So it's, so it's different, but it's it's the diversity, I guess. That is uh, that is great. Yeah, positive energy as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's amazing. And what about your vocals, Tom? I mean, words cannot describe what your nope. vocals are. I mean, uh, there's a status which, being a progressive musician myself, and I've been I've been digging progressive music from years and decades, and there's never been a vocalist in my mind that connects to me emotionally, except Tom England. 
So you got to tell, how do you feel? I mean, how do you manage to just, you know, the prick our hearts with your amazing voice? I speak about things that have happened to me. You know, it's very easy for me to be, to be honest and sincere. And it's very easy for you to pick up on that honesty and sincerity. So, um, and that's pretty much what I've been doing all my life. Even if we have disguised... Uh, many of the, the, the you know, outed feelings in, in terms of alien abductions or, 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 or uh, you know, cults or whatever you have right. read into the subjects. It's, it's basically all about what's going on in my head and what I see around myself with, with my best friends and with my, you know, our families and whatnot. So, yeah. That's amazing. Now, the video which you guys shot, the new video, it's... It's like a larger than life uh, picture of, of Evergrey. I mean, but the first time I'm like, the band is kicking ass. The visualizations of the videos are amazing. And I was wondering how you guys managed to, you know, just be at such a height. It would have been like too crazy looking at the massive cranes and from the height this was taken. My God, I've never seen a video like that in love. You know, in me at least in heavy metal till now. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's like you said, we, yeah. felt, we felt larger than life. Yeah, but I also had vertigo in there <laughs> every other minute, you know. So it's like, oh, looking very cool. Oh, fucking hell, my God! I'm, you know, on top of the world, basically. Yeah, hundred meters up in the air. Wow. But I mean, of course, we also work with extremely talented people. And uh, Patrick Uleus, who made the video for us, is we have been working with him for over ten years, and he's one of the best best friends and he totally understands our vision and uh, and uh, he has the knowledge and know-how of how to, to make our grand visions come true you know and uh, it's extremely fortunate to have those people around you the same goes with Jacob Hansen now who makes the album so uh, it's not all up to us it's based on our visions but uh, it also costs a lot a lot of money oh, yeah, so uh, uh, you know Wonderful brother, that's amazing. Now, what, what, what are the future plans? I mean, I really want you guys to tour this album, you know, worldwide because this is meant to be played live. This is meant to be unleashed live. So, what are the touring schedule for the band for next few months and also next few years? We, we just said that we we would uh, we we quite quickly decided that we wouldn't uh, rush into any business deals or any touring uh, plans in order to not. End end up where we were, were before, where we were, were fatigued and tired of ourselves and, and uh, you know, not respecting the entity of everybody at all, just pushing forward and pushing forward. So we said, let's release the, the video and then we'll see what the reaction will be and uh, then we can make wiser business decisions based on that. And uh, as it's been greeted as a Quite differently, <laughs> so we are now able to to start talking to the right people. You know, so uh, we have no touring plans for this year. We're going to do on and off shows, I guess, yeah. for selected markets like you know, weekend there, weekend there, weekend, there. and then the next year probably, if we line up the right people to work with us, we're going to tour our ass off. Absolutely. Now, you guys are from Sweden, so you have to tell me there is definitely something in in the Swedish air or the Swedish food. None of the bands from Sweden disappoint metal fans. And yeah, there we go. This one as well. So, what do you guys... <laughs> no. I mean, you guys are passionate about stuff. And I don't know. There has to be something in Sweden that makes us, you know, us fans preach you guys. Yeah, yeah we get this question a lot. We don't... We don't uh, I think Swedish people are very determined on what they want to do. Yeah. Uh, and also we have the opportunity to do it in our country, which is very fortunate. And, uh, you know, those two things are, are the ground are the foundation for, for a good start, you know, so, uh, yeah. Amazing, brother. Now, I want to know when is Evergrey going to come to India? I'm trying my best. I already discussed with you, Tom, earlier regarding uh, trying to set up a gig in India for you guys. I am in process of that because... Yes, yes. Yeah. No matter what happens, I have to do it. At least, at least for the sake of seeing a band that deserves to see places, that deserves to play at, you know, worldwide. So I'm just hopeful that I can set up something for you. But there is a possibility that the other promoters can catch you as well. You know, you never know. So I just hope yeah, you guys yeah. see India soon. 
us too, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, we have never been there, so uh, absolutely. And we have, uh, we have a. I've heard we have a good following there. So uh, uh, let's see, let's see what we can do. Yeah, would be. That's amazing. I look forward to see you guys, and I had a great time seeing you guys, and have seen you guys drinking as well. I miss the beer which you guys are having in your hand, but I will <laughs> definitely have it one day with you guys sitting here in Bangalore and having a beer with you. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Have a great, great time with you. We love we love Indian food. Yes, we're Indian food lovers. 